Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV Color. It's good to see you. Good oh, man, it's been Oscar. a while. How you been? I'm good, mate. Yourself? I've been doing with uh, imitations of yourself recently, so it's good to see Oscar. Bit of an Essex, a little bit more of a Joe Pugh giving it the, the old shoulders. I and the, I was expecting, we're in the East End, so I was expecting to see Pugh here today, but he's uh, he clearly had a big night last night. I'll run him out of his manner, don't worry. Um, Charlie Edwards, a bit of a forgotten man, but there is definitely a place on the world Such scene a for a fighter like him. Such a character, Bantamweight Division, live on Channel 5 tomorrow night. We'll do a couple of million views with him, and, uh, and he's back, isn't he? You know, uh, great name, fantastic fighter. You've got to love both the Edwards brothers. I think Brent was great characters for the sport. Um, and he's just, he's got that energy about him. You know, I've walked up here today, um, saw him and straight away he's beaming, he's excited, you know. Um, so an Ori, tough opponent, uh, WBC Silver Championship. Win that and then we're on to the big one. So uh, very, very exciting. Yeah, he was quite coy about what could happen beyond Friday, kind of giving it yesterday the I'm tunnel vision for Friday. Um, but you've got a domestic fight with Paul Butler. I know there's a bit of gym history as well. Um, so many good fights in Asia for world titles. So there is definitely something huge on the horizon. But he was very like, let's not talk about it yet yesterday. Wasn't that long ago I was doing the World Boxing Super Series Bantamweight. So I, that division is lit. Yeah, it's a lit division. And uh, Ch Charlie Edwards can play a big part in it. It was an easy conversation to have when you look at the fact he's a former world champion. Like you said, the Edwards brothers uh, as a pair, both very big names in the sport. Um, and I guess you come along with a platform that can deliver millions of views. Was it kind of quite an easy discussion between you and Charlie? I'd say it's a win-win, isn't it? Anything in life, when it's a win-win, it, it, it works. And uh, he's a great kid as well. Really good character. Yeah. What else can we expect from the card on, on Friday night? I think a few interesting ones, but the one that, the, the one that stands out, he's coming along, and we've got to sign a few of these young guns. The one to watch tomorrow night is Tom Weldon. Um, just watch Tom Welland, he'll be on the Channel 5 feed, um, cr cracking, the undercar by the way is also on DAZN, and DAZN around the world, um, so you know it's a big platform for these young guns coming through, Tom Welland, super super excited about him, you know, so he's got a bit of a step up tomorrow night, if you're into your international names, watch out for the first one on the card, Mikkel Kessler's protege, Oliver Zarin, in a first first let's say step up test so that's going to be also interesting because it's, I think it's 10 fights tomorrow night so you can take your pick yeah. anyone that Mikael Kessler's watching over I think we need to have a, have a little look at too yeah I mean Mikkel's banging on about it we've had, we've had I think it's his eight for nine fight with us now to be honest he hasn't faced the, the toughest of opposition yet he's won all his fights clearly but tomorrow night's going to be a bit different it's going to be a it's going to be a it's going to be a very interesting start to the card. I think about 7.15 tomorrow night in the York Call. Friday night fights in the East End. Love it. Bring it on. Bring it on. Um, I want to talk about Chris Eubank Jr. There was a bit of noise that he was potentially a free agent uh, a couple of weeks ago. But after speaking to Nissa yesterday, he said there's news imminent. So um, I guess we can kind of rubbish the free agent stuff. Yeah, look, there's a lot of, was a lot of noise. Um, you know, we, you know we Where does that come from? That comes from lots of different places. But at the end of the day... He's, he's desperate to, to get a, a big fight and we want to put him in a big fight and, um, you know, we're, we're working on a few things uh, at the moment, you know, so the future will be interesting. Um, but at the same time, I expect to sign you hopefully in the next few weeks. Will it be a world title fight? There's a different ones that we're, we're discussing with them. Uh, Team Eubank and, you know, he's very well represented with Nova Sports, um, Napro, Mira and... You know, we're talking to them on an hourly basis. In fact, I had a call with them an hour ago. Uh, lots of different ideas around. Um, it's not an easy summer because of the Euros to put big, big events on. Um, I think it's a big one that's, that Sky's planning uh, early June. We've obviously got the Saudi card in May. So you're then looking like, where, where's the best place to, to, to fit it? So it's a few different things floating about. I don't want to don't get too, too deep into it right now, Ask. Yeah. I know there was some Crawford noise, obviously, as well. Um, and there was a bit of Crawford noise, potentially, with Josh Kelly in the yeah, WBO about Wasserman times Crawford in 2024. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, listen, we're, we're good with Ter I'm good with Terence, and uh, he's got a great team, Ish and, and uh, Harrison, uh, good people, and I'm sure we'll be doing, doing fights with him in the future, uh, somewhere along the line. The Josh Kelly one, um, 
you know, it wasn't like we manufactured that. So I was, I was away at Eastern. I've seen this story pop up. And then it's, it's quite right. He's number one in the world, Josh Kelly, um, who also will be out this summer. And big, big update coming there very shortly. But that Terence Crawford fight is potentially there. I'm hearing they're doing Madrimov, which is a great fight, by the way, Crawford Madrimov. And, you know, Josh is in that position. You know, he's also, by the way, in a similar position with the IBF. So, you know, looking at, looking at another domestic fight probably this summer, um, and then a massive one uh, later in the year, you know. But it's, it's all coming together nicely for Josh Kelly, you know. If, if you strip away the older names in boxing, and you look what's coming through, You've got your, you know, obviously you know, like people talk about Ben Whitaker, but he's a, he's a while off, you know, and then you look at other, loads of other names that are around, but the, really the ones that can step up in the next six to 18 months, look at Josh Kelly, obviously Buatzi with that great win he just had, um, and there's a few up, Dalton Smith just had a great win. There's some good ones coming through, but Josh Kelly's the one I'd say who's been on that level for a long time, He's had a very interesting story, but he's in a great place right now. So I expect him to be very much a future face of British boxing, definitely. And, and he started off being hyped that way. He had, he had that, that chapter in his career, which has now been closed and, open, and the new one has opened. Um, he's had some terrific wins, but he's, uh, he's coming through and he's coming hard. Yeah. Um, just one more thing. I don't want to be a, a troublemaker here, but who would you say is right in the Ben Shalom and oh, Eddie Hearn situation? I, <laughs> I mean, you, obviously you had oh, a vested interest in that because Harlem kind of nipped in and got I, the fight. I think that, um, I think, and I don't know the ins and outs, but he should have been pulled out of that position earlier. That, that doesn't necessarily mean it's Shalom. It could be his manager, it could be the boy, whoever it is, they had to pull him out. If you, yeah, but I mean, if you know that your man's not ready, that's fine. I don't think that's what her is saying. It's more, you know, you, you pull your guy. And I've, I've been there loads of times before. I'm like, yeah, right. You know, we invested in this kid. He's invested into his career. His career's got to go the right way. He's not ready for that fight. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And, you know, that's, uh, that's part of guiding a boxer to the top. And I'm sure Eddie's done it as well loads of times. We all have. But the thing is, they've done it very late, and I think that's more the thing. And I don't know, but I don't know what was in the background, whether talking or not talking. Uh, it certainly, it certainly is uh, always uh, quite amusing, though. The, but it does seem to be a bit of a run between the two of them. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.